you win. Come on, man. You win, you're going to get by some friends over here. Yeah. 
Ready on the team we on. Ready? We win. Come on, somebody. I thank God for that over there. Y'all may be seated if you can. Amen. Amen. I just want us to get that in our spirit. Sometimes I think we, we forget that. I mean, if you're going through sometimes you'll forget. Amen. Somebody say, I'm a winner. I'm a winner. Ah, ooh, that thing feel, I feel that thing. Somebody, somebody know what I'm talking about. You know, when, she, when you're a winner and you're running a race, sometimes it don't feel like you're a winner. Sometimes when you're going somewhere that you ain't never been, you don't, it don't really feel like you're a winner. I ain't got no witnesses in the house. Sometimes when, you, when you're on your tallest hurdle and you're keeping them down and you won't understand that God said, I'm bringing you over here because I want you to recognize victory when you get on the other side. You don't need anything without opposition. Right. Come on, somebody. Right. How you going to be warned if you ain't never been through nothing? Yeah. Somebody said, let's take a test. Let's take a test. Has anybody been slapped before? Yeah. Have you been slapped and know you it didn't it got you before you realized? Yeah. Come on, so I, want some, I, want some, I want some people to be real. Yeah. Mother, never got it. Mother said, I got it too, bitch. See, we're going to take a test. This is how you know something. Tim, what side do you get slapped on? So when somebody, you gonna let me slap? So let me tell you something. You better slap me or you're the hooks. I love you. Somebody said, what I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you, love me, but don't love me so much to let me be abusive to you. Come on, somebody. See, you see me? See, you see, that's that daddy love. That's that love my mama. She married a man and gave her love like that one. So you know what I'm talking about. We used to call it that sick love. See, we got, we got too much sick love in the house of God. See, 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 we care more about what I look like in front of Bishop than what I look like in front of God. That's sick love. Hallelujah. See, when you begin to care more about an individual more than you care about the master, you will miss your move. See, you got sick love. That right there is not God. Man. Come on, somebody. See, what you're dealing with is an antichrist love family. Because anything you put before God is a sickness to you. He said, he that know to do right and do it not to them. It's sin. Sickness. What do you say? Sin is the wages of sin and what? Death. Somebody say, what are you willing to yield to, to forget or to lose what you're entitled to? Come on, somebody. I'm talking to the Christian now. Come on, somebody. Some of us get like that. We get so wrapped up in the church, in the ring of the church. When you got true God love, you don't care what people say about you. Come on, somebody. You, 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 ain't, got to, you ain't got to fight a battle that ain't yours. You really got the right kind of love. I don't know how we got here, so I'm going to say, you ain't got to keep on going to fight the same battle when you learn to get your love life right. Come on, somebody. That pastor and I go through, but you don't even hear us say a moment of word because we recognize many years ago that the battle ain't ours. It's the Lord's. You can't stop what God do with no house. But you can add some air to it. Help rape. Go ahead. Go ahead. I came to talk about. Jesus. Come on. Come on. We got to get, get our love right. Uh -huh. yeah. If you love something more than you love God, you say, well, Bishop, well, I, I, I love the Lord and I, and, 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 and I do anything. Yes, but it's conditional. Come on, somebody. You say, well, I need conditional. Well, let us ask for something that you don't normally have to be required to do. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, Jesus. oh. oh. Oh, right. Oh, well, you see, you see, I've been, I've been doing something for so long right here, Bishop, and and you don't understand. <clears throat> I, 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 I've been doing this every Saturday, say hypothetically. Uh -huh. So, so now that I'm a part of something that's going to require me to come out of my normal and usual way. <laughs> come on, hey, come on, have, come on. Have. Go ahead. Uh -huh. That's a sick love. Help us. Help us. So you love them. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Until he said, I need you up here on Saturday. Jesus. To me. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right, right. right. Oh, you, you don't understand. I work, Bishop, and I work all week. And, 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 and you know, in the Sabbath, my only day to clean house. Or my only day to cut grass. My only day to get some rest. That's what they know one of you that rest. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but you love God enough that Monday through Friday, He brought you through. Amen. Right. 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 Your house that you got. He gave it to you. He gave it to you. Early this morning, you got up and put your own clothes on. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Thankful you, you, you got a beautiful wife at home or beautiful mate or, or you can go in your own house and don't worry about what you eat today, whatever you desire. That's right. Amen. You can eat. Amen. No, I ain't by myself up here. You may not have who you want in the house, but thank God you ain't got Chucky in the house. Come on, somebody. You may just be in there by yourself in the house because you love God enough to know mess so you can be blessed. So you wait on your chance. Somebody said, we gotta, you got to get your love right. Scripture here I want to read. I'm getting this thing, but I have to. Somebody say, this is the stage in this man. Amen. It's where we're going. We need to get ourselves together. That's right. Who do you really love? Some of us say we love God, but I believe we love ourselves more. We love ourselves more. Can't do nothing. Just a little more. You just don't know what time it is. But you just don't know we. We got here. We then we gotta go down there. We just we ain't had men dollars in weeks. Almost months. I forgot what our dudes even do. Come on, somebody. Then we may then we want to get murmuring and complaining because we do one service, then had to come the next day and do that. Well, Bishop, but you don't say I don't know. I hope I ain't talking to y'all. Amen. <laughs> God, man. Amen. When you get it for God, don't forget who gave you everything you got. That's right. Amen. Come on, somebody. I don't want to tell you something. It ain't always been like it is. Amen. Amen. Ah, oh, I'm going to talk to I'm going to go back. I'm going to try to find somebody else to know what I'm talking about. See, it ain't always been that you can get your hair done every time you want to get it done. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, girl. You got a lot. It ain't always been. You can go down there and say, yeah, let me get that girl. And then, and, oh, what are you talking about? Yeah, go ahead. Come on, somebody. So I say, see, it ain't always been like that. If I can tell you where I came from. Jesus. Come on, somebody. See, we need to don't forget where we came from. Right. See, then we can love God on another level because we're trying to love a supernatural God on a natural level. It won't work, baby. He wants you to stretch. Somebody say it's time to stretch. All right, let's see it in the text. Give God a hand clap of praise if you enjoy that. So we can move on. Turn with me quickly to a book we are familiar with, chapter 3 of Mark. Don't want to be before you long, but uh, it was in my spirit, Lord, dealing with me about some stuff this week. Have you ever, why y'all turning to Mark chapter 3? Brother Jerry, have you ever, next year, Brother Jerry, because you, Jerry, I've been talking to Brother Jerry, me and him hanging up this week, talk. Brother Jerry, have you ever been doing something and you really thought that you was really doing something? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Has anybody ever been there? Yeah. You really thought you were putting it down. You said, man, I've been doing this, I've been doing that. And I, I got to go do this, and I got to go do that. And you really think you put it down. But then all of a sudden, you're running to somebody who's doing exactly what you're doing and more. All right. Come on, somebody. Right. Hey, anybody never been there before? Right. You want to know how they got what they got? Well, are you willing to go through what they went through to get what they got? Oh, you don't want to hear that. That's right. You want to know why they get what they get, but you don't know what they went through to get what they got. Come on, somebody. Yeah, you ready to go, but you ain't ready to go all the way. Come on, come on. Yeah, so I got any witnesses in the house. Come on, somebody. They want to go, but they ain't want to go everywhere you got to go. That's right. See, they want what you got. Come on, somebody. They want that house. They want that car. They want that mate. But they ain't willing to go through the cries and tears that you went through to get what you. You ain't really, really, are you really ready to go? Sometimes you can go hold your hand out the door. Sometimes when you really want to go somewhere, you got to be stretched. Jesus, come on, help me. Oh, I know, Lord, help me. Jesus. Mm. Help me go. You got to be stretched. Yeah. 
Let's get in the word. Somebody says get in the word. Read with me chapter one. Y'all read King, we got stand because of reading of the Lord. And somebody say expect unspecting. Expect the unspecting. Chapter three, verse uh, one. That's, can y'all read with me? And here again. Hold up. Somebody say again. Again. Now, I don't know what your again is. But if you ain't got it right the first time, go do it again. Every now and then, you got to go back before God again. For the same situation you got involved in again, you go back to God to get empowered to get through it again. And again, and again, and you do what it takes for you can get straight to be able to do the work of God. Come on, somebody. Do you think you get to get where you want to go in God? If you ain't repeating, you got to keep on pressing, baby. That's right. I know it seems like you're you running out of time, but your timetable ain't got nothing to do with God. That's right. You better say it. That's right. A day is a two, a thousand is a thousand is to a day on the Lord. What you mean? His clock don't worry about the clock. That's right. That's right. That's right. Your biological clock, I'm getting too many years. Somebody say, hush! hush. And let God do his work on you. Go back again. Get your attitude right again. Make your attitude adjusted again. Get your focus back again. Line up again. Make another move again. Press up to be on your level again, again, and again. That's right. It's going to work for you. Yeah. Yeah. you Somebody say, I'm telling you, I don't know why I keep going in this other thing. Go ahead. That's right. Using the Lord. Let's be with me. Okay, where we at? Somebody saw me up. Again, unto the what? The Son of God. Where the Son of God? Somebody say, right here. Right here. Can I show you another Son of God? In your car. Yeah. Come on, somebody. In your house. Yeah. At the job. Yeah. On the elevator. Yeah. At the doctor's office. Yeah. Wherever you want, call on God. Right. Come on, somebody. Say hello. hello. Wherever you call on them at. Yeah. If you're at Jackson House working on cars, that's just a call on God right there. I know you making calls for that. Just call on them. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Somebody say call out. Call out. That's your son of God. Yes, it's a place that God represents authority to you. Uh -huh. Sometimes you can be going through at the VA uh -huh. and you have to call on us. You say, look, maybe I'm going to have a place that I can call God on personally. Uh -huh. I'll address. Uh -huh. Wherever you go, you should be able to open your arms and say, Lord, I need, I need you. Yeah. Though I walk through the valley of shadow oh, yeah. I am yeah. fearing to be able to that oil, that rod, that salmon, yeah. come me down, prepare a table before the presence of my enemies. That come. Come on, come on. That's right. Somebody said, you got to know how to bring that thing so my cup will run it over in the midst of the people hating on me. Yeah. There you go. Somebody said, yes, right, because I'm a winner. Yeah. Come on, let's finish this a little farther. We're getting in this. I'm going to get out the way. And there was a man there which had a what? With a hand. hand. And they watched him whether he would heal him on the Sabbath, uh -huh. that they might accuse him. And he said unto them, unto the man, he said, look what he said. He said to me, so which had a will of hand? Look what he said. Stand for him. Stand for Hold up. What is he saying right there? So I said, hey, but what is he saying? So I tell you. He said, I want you to come in order. Stand up here. Stand up there. I want people to see. Stand up there. That's, that's, that's Get up there. Right there. Step up. Step up there. What you saying? He said, stand forth. I want everybody to see you. Uh -huh. uh, Y'all don't want to hear this. Come on, somebody, somebody, somebody said, you better catch this. He said, I want you to see the way she appears. Come on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Have people judge you based on what they thought you appeared? Oh, come on, somebody. Yes, is anybody with me today? Is anybody prejudge you? You know, you can tell sometimes how people look at you. They already prejudge you. Don't know nothing about you. Don't know nothing about nothing about you, and they already prejudge you based on what it appears you are. So he said, "I want you to stand up here, daughter." And I know you. See, look what he says. He says, "Look what he says, saints." He said, now, she has something special wrong with her. 
Is anybody here got something special in? They did well. Yes, sir. He says, I'm going to bring you in front of everybody. Because what I got for you to do, I want the world to see where they think you useless. Where they think you don't fit the norm. Where they think that you ain't going to fit in. And when you lose your mind, they think, because I'm willing. And, I, and, I'm, and willingness meant this made that my hand was willing up, but it just means that I, I got something that looks like it's not ready to have the full potential in it or the full strength that everybody else has. My God. My God. My God. It appears that people think that, that I'm trying and I, I ain't got the necessary strength that everybody else appears to have. So you think Or to kill, 
but they held their peace. Come on, somebody, somebody say, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. That's right. Jesus says, you mean to tell me with your traditional fire self that you ready for me to let her stay like she is on today? Tomorrow ain't promised. Crazy. Would it be better for me to wait until tomorrow? Or give her a problem there? When did she die? Before I come and do something? Jesus said, I am the way to truth for life. Today in the year with me. He said, I want the world to see. I have to wait till tomorrow. See, you don't know how long she's been waiting to get Jesus. See, I said, you don't see what it says. Yeah, how long you had to will her So you don't know how long, how long you've been praying for some things to take place in your life. How long you yes, waiting for God to come to a break? God said, I'm going to send you forth in the midst of everybody. Oh, if you just go ahead, look, look how humble the person with the willing hand was. She said, go stand up there. Oh, my God. Yes. They are, the willing hand man already knew that Jesus was doing miracles. But he said, now you want to do something. Now you know I got to wait to see. I ain't going to get dressed for church tonight. I ain't going to get dressed for church tonight. See what I'm saying? It's untraditional. God chooses you. He dresses you tonight. This one and I come hey. tonight. See why? Because what God's going to do, He chose the foolish. Thank you, God. Things of the your name for you. Yes. Yes. I got work for my daughter. Come on. Come on now. I know some of you with your prejudging. Look at her. She got that thing on her head. Come on, somebody. Yes. Yes, sir. yes, I do, baby. Yes, I, do. I sure do. But guess what? I came to listen to the goodness of God. Come on, somebody. I come to get closer to God. So she said, I'm willing, but I ain't willing to stay there. Come on, some, some of us still you come in, in and out of the, in and out of the sanctuary, still staying the same old way. Still got your, your selfish thinking, 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 and you still doing it the same thing. Keep practicing the same thing. And the first thing you want to hop, I want to make a change. But when you want to let him bring you to the front, you want him to do it secretly. We know you jacked up. We know you just smell good, but you know you ain't no good. Come on, somebody. Of course, you got your hair done. I don't make you good. Of course, you smell good. I don't make you. Of course, you put on. Somebody say, Are you ready to be stretched? Are you ready to be stretched? Well, let's just see what happened to her. Somebody said, Let's see what happened. He asked, Was it good? What they did? And they held their peace. See, let me tell you something. When you try to use something that don't even make no sense, and Jesus come back with the same thing you you looking at trying to plot out Jesus about. Why would you get that woman? That woman that she ain't been to church that long. I've been waiting on. I mean, I've been waiting to be delivered forever. I've been been wanting to stop cussing. Yeah, but you said they fluently cussing. Come on, somebody, you're hanging with cussers. Come on, somebody, you know. Come on, somebody, you know that you know. You go, I put, I hold, you know, you know, you hold. Me to help me to get delivered from drinking. Yeah, but you're still going to the store with people to drink, having people in your house to drink. But she come up and said, I done lost everybody I had, but here I'm coming, Lord. My family had turned it back. Something I walked down with everybody else. I don't know if I'm going to lose nobody, but I believe yes. that it's hope up here yes. for me to get my deliverance. Yes. Well, how you go? Here you go. He said, the hell of peace. And when he looked around about them with anger, beginning to grieve in the heart and his hands, and he said, he, this thing bothered Jesus. See, that's why I tell you, you ain't got to fight. This battle. Thank you, God. He looked around all the, all the accusers, all the people talking about you. And he said he was grieved. Let's look around and see everybody talking about us. Let's look around at everybody. Look at everybody. See, everybody talking about you. Go on out and say, everybody talking about you. Don't you worry about that. People have done you wrong. People ain't going to pay you your, your money. People who have walked out on you. Tell me, don't worry about none of them. Tell me, I said, don't worry about it. It grieved God himself. Your children acting up just disrespecting you. God said, I got it. Don't you worry about them. I got them. You seem like you ain't getting nowhere with them. I got them. Don't worry about it. Because this is a problem. To be turned over to an angry God. It's a terrible thing to be that God had to spank you. He'll let, he'll let something come and spank your wrong. Good God Almighty. Look what he said. He said, as he turned around, look what he done. He said, and he said, it, it grieved him for the hardness of their heart. 
I heard Sister Trina back here testifying. Daughter, thank you for your testimony. And I caught something she was saying. She said, you know, she said, I had to find out that I had to just let everything go. Yeah. See, when you get hard and hard, you don't let everything go. No, no. See, see you let certain things go. You know you got a nasty attitude. So you push it over to the, to the far because you like having a nasty attitude. You don't want joy because you, you rather have heart as you rather have. So you make it hard on this side, but you say, okay, I give up two more dollars. I, I come to church a little more early. But I refuse something that's hard right there. I, I can't give up my, my time that I do this and do that. I got to. I know that the preaching is real, and I know that it's for me, but it's a spot over here I'm not willing to let go. But the willing hand, man, the willing hand. Woman, hold your hand out, daughter. Hold your hand out, God. He look, 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 look at this. He said unto the woman, or the man, stretch forth thy hand. Stretch it forth. She like me up. <laughs> When I came to him, I came to him. Yes. Yes. Amen. Because I didn't know him. So I, I heard about him. I said, Lord, if you did, you induce yourself to me. I'm going to bring everything I got yes. to you. I know I ain't no good for nothing else. But if you, I, 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 I don't know you like the rest of them. But if you just grab a hold of me, I give you everything. I, 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 I so she stretched forth her hand. Something happened amazingly. It said when she stretched forth her hand and he stretched it out, and it said that he stretched it out and he said his hand was restored. Oh, y'all better give God some. Come on. In holes, what's missing out of hole? Absolutely nothing. You go forth because you have been restored. Hold on. Don't worry about who like it and who don't like it. God said, I have made you whole. Oh, oh. Come on, Skip. Yeah. Oh. She's been made whole. And when you've been made whole, you will have hands. But you grab out yourself with this. God said, I looked at him amongst them. And it grieved me. For the hardness of their heart. Don't you know when God began to do a work on you, the first people that you thought were supposed to celebrate you be the ones that had the hardness heart against you? How to call somebody? And then you be about to lose your natural mind trying to find out what you did to them. Surely you should be happy for them, but now you hurt it. God said your heart is hard. So when I see them, I recognize who it is. He said, I got that. Because I made you whole. And when somebody portrayed to be whole who ain't whole, they get mad and jealous because you are. Come on, somebody. They hate on you because you, God is straightening you out. And the first thing they'll tell you, you think you all that. No, baby. You think it. It ain't me. I don't go around thinking I'm all that. Come on, somebody. Say, no, you think it. Because you see that God is doing something with me. Come on, somebody. Give God some glory. God bless you. Yes. I was looking at that thing, and I said, Lord, what was it? He said, it appeared that that willingness, that when her hand was dried up, it appeared that she was helpless. She was limitless. She was being unaffected. And God said, no, 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 no. He said, it's time to stretch you oh my God. <laughs> beyond your normal way of operation. Come on now. That was stretch me. See, when you allow things to set in, it's a, it's a tale story game. I want y'all to hear something to get away. To go beyond your loud stiffness. Uh -huh. Come on, somebody. I got some people to work with stiffness and stuff. Y'all know about that. Rachel, Rachel, and all y'all know about y'all ladies know about that. Now this that definition said, Mother, the stiffness, Jesus wanted her to stretch forth out of her, go beyond her normal, allowed stiffness. 
Come on, somebody. Out of you. That means that mean you got to come out of you. Amen. Where God is taking you to, you can't, well, I don't talk much, get on up there and talk. Well, you know, Bishop, I'm the quietest one in the room, get on up there and praise God. Well, you know, you don't take all that. Look at the hallelujah, you get down there and start standing strong. You have to come out beyond your normal level of stiffness. Amen. Amen. That would stretch me. I want to get you out of what you've been, that's all you've been doing, just that. But God said, I want you to stretch. I got great on work. I know you've been doing it on this level, but where I'm taking you to, I'm stretching you out. A father than you ever, you're the night of your natural body. It's to do. Don't you know when God do this spiritually, your natural man feels that it's limited. Jesus. He feels he can't go no far. But when God is stretching the spirit man, your natural man may feel like it can't go no far. But that may be tell you, it'll go down and follow because God. This is a God thing. He's stretching you all the way out to the world. Can see, look at her now. Look at you now. Jesus. Hallelujah. Stretch you beyond your own stiffness or what you allow yourself to operate in. Jesus. Come on. Why? Because if I can stretch you, I can fill you up. Come on, yes. I can get more of you. Jesus. Come on, somebody say, stretch you, Lord. He's stretching us right now in areas. Yes. Tell your neighbor, say, he's stretching me in places that I know. See, I ain't never been here before. I ain't never been in this type of situation before. And to be honest with you, I don't even know how I'm doing it now. So I know it's got to be the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. Because I repeat, game book. I repeat, turn my back. I repeat with another way. But God! Stretching me. Yes, sir. To whom much is given. Much is required. Much is required. Amen. Yes, it is. Somebody say he's stretching. Yes. I know it gets tough. Yes. I know it gets late at night sometimes. But he's yes. stretching you. Yes. He's taking you out of who you was yes. into a brighter, yes. stronger person he's making you. Yes. That's why I didn't stop there. Because I can't stop you there. You used to that. But I'm taking you somewhere you yes. ain't never been used to. I'm taking you somewhere. You would have had to depend all the way on me to bring you through. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Taking you somewhere. Now you get wild. Jesus. I ain't talking about a natural wild. I'm talking about you getting wild spiritually. Your mind ain't like it used to be. You don't think like you used to think. You don't act like you do. You don't talk. You don't even blink like you used to blink. Now you can't get mad like you used to get. You've been a flip, turn it up. It's all right. It's all right. I've been one up there and bust it up. I've been one down there towards his head. I went down there and bust him. I don't say something on that phone. Somebody say to me. So when he stretches me, he means I want more of you. Come on, I want to grow bigger in you. I'm bigger than where we started, baby. I'm much bigger than where we begin. I got greatness to do through you. Somebody say, stretch me, Lord. Jesus, stretch me. Your mind is handling things that you normally wouldn't use to handle. You know you'd have been a trip and done some crazy stuff. That old flesh body, of somebody say, come on. come on. Young and old, come on. You know good and well. You had to begin to bring it on the subject. You know many times ago, you would have just creeped on in and creeped on out. But now since you've been stretched, he's got, you got more power to handle you. Amen. That spirit man taking over that now. Yeah. And that cat used to thought you was a weakling. He can knock on the door. He can see all the money he want to see. You. you will say, praise the Lord. I'm going to pay some more ties. Close the door. Click up. <laughs> and you see me. That don't move me no more. Amen. Somebody said, that don't move me no more. All them fake promises. Come on, Come on somebody. All you want to do is take a 
Boo the boo call. Come on, somebody. Somebody say, you better call somebody else. Come on, somebody. Can we be real up in here? Time to call somebody else. When they say you better call town Come on, somebody. You better call somebody. Ain't nothing, somebody say ain't nothing jumping out. You say I'm getting bigger now. Somebody say I'm growing spiritually now. Yes, sir. I'm gonna be come over there. That money, a little bit of money, you owe me. I've been knocked on your door. Come on, brought the boys with me. Come on, somebody. But that's all right. You can live with it. I can live without it. Let's see how it work out for you. That's right. Because I'm not giving you nothing that God ain't even told me to give you. I'm not sewing in the background no more. I've got to say something to close. Stop sewing in the background. Stop, stop allowing yourself to get in stiffness. God is trying to say, he said, I'm trying to flow. Get, let you let flow in your life. And you allow them people. Don't let, I don't care. I don't care if it, it better be a birthday. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Hit my hand. Better be an anniversary. I'm not just going to give you That's right. a blessed thing hmm. for you get trump all over it. I know you're going to drink. So I'm partaking in your. Amen. You want, if you need some food in your house, I'll buy you some. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. You need to help with a bill, and I, and I help you with a bill, but I ain't going to continue to pay your bill. That's right. Now, I help you with a bill, but I ain't going to keep paying your bill. Come on, somebody. Amen. That's right. I ain't going to give you no money because I know you're going to put it in the bill at all. You're going to swear it in dope. You're going to put it in cigarettes. I'm not partaking no more. I don't know about y'all. Hold your hands up in the bill. I'm going to catch some people who want to be real about this thing. I don't know who we're talking to. I'm going to talk. I'm going to touch and agree with you right now. I'm going to be real about this thing. I'm not sowing in no more bad ground. Amen. 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 I'm not sowing in no more bad ground. I don't care who you are, who you ain't. I ain't sowing in no bad ground. Daughter, you women, we ain't sowing in no bad ground. Deep, God bless you. We ain't sowing in no bad ground. I don't know about y'all. Now, y'all better hear this. You better hear this. Now, come on. Now you playing them numbers. If God ain't God, ain't told you playing them numbers. Come on, somebody. That's bad ground, baby. Come on, somebody. Stop sowing the bad ground. I know I love my son. I hope this video don't get told, but if you do, you been served. I'm not sowing in bad ground. Get yourself together. Amen. Amen. My mama was living. God just said, I can't sow in bad ground. She don't get it right. If it ain't a birthday. Ain't no anniversary. I ain't talking about no alcohol anniversary. Been, well, you know, I've been 70 years that you still ain't saved, mama. Come on, somebody. We're going to take you down and get something to eat. Golden Corral is open. Blue Bay, Mother of God. We'll invite you to Blue Bay. we get Mother down there. We're going to pray. We're going to dig it in. we Throw it all over glass. All over the chair. Amen. Amen. She goes to the bathroom. Throw it in the bathroom. We throw it over the stock. She said, there was something going on in that bathroom. I'm going to have y'all something happen. And you pass it. She's going to be throwing oil all over the stock. Just go ahead and throw oil all over the stock, Lord. Just throw oil. Don't worry about it. She goes, it's time out to be playing with this. Amen. Amen. You ain't got to tell them, no. Just when they come over, they say, oh, how you doing? Come on, they fix them up sandwich. Uh-huh. Ship from you to make oil vinegar, Holy Ghost oil. Right, right, right. There you go. So, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, no. come on, let's give God praise. Hand that way. Amen. Give your name said, Are you ready to be stretched? Are you ready to be stretched? Somebody say, Yield me. Yield me. To the Holy Ghost. All right, give God praise. Amen.